for this video, we're gonna be talking about the inverse trigonometric functions. So let's start with the arc sine. Reviewin muna natin na ang range ng ating arc sine function is from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2 in radian measures. Or in degree measures, that's from negative 90 to positive 90. So ito yung itura niya sa ating Cartesian plane or sa ating unit circle. From 0, counterclockwise direction going to 90. And from 0, going to negative 90 in clockwise direction. And the range is within the quadrant 1 and quadrant 4. Let's have our problem number 1. Find the exact value of the expression arc sine of 1 half. Dito kailangan nating masagot ang question na what angle has sine equal to 1 half. So this is our theta. So ano kaya yung pwede nating i-plug in dito na ang sagot ay 1 half. Using the unit circle, we can see in the quadrant 1, sine pi over 6 is equal to 1 half. Also, we can see in quadrant 2, sine 5 pi over 6 is also 1 half. So which is the answer to our problem? Let's analyze the two values. And using our range, that's from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2, that's within quadrant 1 and quadrant 4. Therefore, sine pi over 6 in quadrant 1, this is our answer. While sine 5 pi over 6 in quadrant 2 is not. Because this is outside the range of our arc sine function. Therefore, for our answer, arc sine of 1 half is equal to pi over 6. For our problem number 2, find the exact value of the expression arc sine of negative 1 half. Again, let's answer the question, what angle has sine equal to negative 1 half? And we're going to plug in the values here. We have sine 210, that is negative 1 half. Sine 330, that is also negative 1 half. And we also have sine of negative 30, that equals to negative 1 half. So which among the three values or degrees is our answer? Let's analyze. 210 is in the third quadrant, while 330 is from the fourth quadrant and negative 30 is also in the fourth quadrant so we can eliminate the sine 210 because this is in the third quadrant and the range is within quadrant 1 and quadrant 4 so dahil may dalawang quadrant 4 tayo dito i-analyze pa natin siya so alin kaya dito sa dalawa ang magiging sagot natin so yung 330 or yung negative 30 balikan natin yung ating range in degree measures, we have from negative 90 to positive 90. So, alin kaya dito sa dalawa ang pasok doon sa range na iyon? Yung negative 30. So, this is not and this is our answer. Therefore, the answer for arc sine of negative 1 half is equal to negative 30 degrees. Or in radian measures, that is negative pi over 6. Now, let's have the range of our arc cosine function. That's from 0 to pi or from 0 degree to 180 degrees. And in our unit circle, ito siya. That's within quadrant 1 and quadrant 2. Let's have our third problem. Evaluate arc cosine of negative square root of 3 over 2. Here, we can see in the unit circle that cosine 150 is equal to negative square root of 3 over 2. Also, cosine 210 is equivalent to negative square root of 3 over 2. But which is the correct answer among the two values? 150 is in the second quadrant, while 210 is in the third quadrant. So ang range natin is within quadrant 1 and quadrant 2. So our answer here is 150. Answer? Our cosine of negative square root of 3 over 2 is equivalent to 150 degrees or 5 pi over 6. The range for our tangent function is between negative pi over 2 and positive pi over 2 or in between negative 90 
and positive 90. So in our unit circle, ganito siya, not including the 90 and the negative 90. Let's answer the problem number 4. Evaluate arc tangent of square root of 3. Let's recall that tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. And we can use our 30 by 60 by 90 right triangle. The opposite of 30 is 1, the opposite of 60 is square root of 3, and the opposite of our right angle is 2. Since the given is positive, that's positive square root of 3. That is found in the quadrant 1. Then let's try if we're going to focus sa 30 degrees. That's tangent 30 is equal to 1 over square root of 3 because that is opposite. The opposite of 30 is 1. And the adjacent side is square root of 3. And for our tangent 60, if we're going to focus here, our opposite side is square root of 3 and our adjacent is 1. So tangent 60 is equal to square root of 3. And we can conclude here that our answer for our arc tangent square root of 3 is equal to 60 or pi over 3. For our problem number 5, Evaluate arc tangent of negative square root of 3 over 3. Recall that tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. Again, let's use our 30 by 60 by 90 right triangle. And since the given is negative, it is in quadrant 4. Because tangent is equal to sine over cosine. Sine is negative and cosine is positive in our fourth quadrant. So tangent negative 30 is equal to negative 1 over square root of 3. The opposite is 1. The adjacent is square root of 3. Then let's rationalize this part by multiplying both numerator and denominator by square root of 3. So our tangent negative 30 is negative square root of 3 over 3. Also, let's try the tangent negative 60. The opposite is square root of 3. And the adjacent is 1. So tangent negative 60 is negative square root of 3. Here we can conclude that our answer is negative 30. Arc tangent of negative square root of 3 over 3 is equivalent to negative 30 or negative pi over 6. Let's have our sixth problem. Evaluate cotangent of the arc tangent of negative square root of 3. First, let's evaluate the inner function, which is arc tangent negative square root of 3. Let's have again our 30 by 60 by 90 right triangle. Since the given is negative, that is negative square root of 3, it is in the quadrant 4. Now we can have the tangent negative 60 is equal to negative square root of 3 over 2. That is the opposite over adjacent. Then just divide it, we have negative square root of 3. And this is the value of our arc tangent of negative square root of 3, negative 60. So now we have cotangent negative 60 or cotangent negative pi over 3. Let's evaluate this part. Recall that cotangent is equivalent to adjacent over opposite. This is just the reciprocal of our tangent. So cotangent negative 60 is equivalent to negative 1, that is the adjacent, over square root of 3, that's the opposite. Then from this part, we're going to rationalize, multiplying both numerator and denominator by square root of 3. So our answer is this, negative square root of 3 over 3. Lastly, for our problem number 7, let's evaluate sine of 2 arc tangent of negative 8 over 3. For this particular given, we can use the sine double angle identity. That is sine 2 theta is equivalent to 2 sine theta multiplied by cosine theta. To start our solution, let theta is equal to arc tangent of negative 8 over 3. So we can have that sine 2 theta because if we're going to substitute theta here, this is our arc tangent negative a thirds that is theta. So we have 2 theta. And our sine 2 theta is equivalent to 2 
So our sine is opposite over hypotenuse and our cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent theta is equal to negative 8 thirds. 8 being the opposite and 3 being the adjacent. We can label our right triangle like this. This is our theta. And the opposite is 8 and the adjacent is 3. So we're going to find the value of our hypotenuse because kailangan natin ito to apply in our double angle identity. So in finding our hypotenuse, we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. That is C is equal to the square root of, we have negative 8 squared plus 3 squared. This is equivalent to square root of 73. Then let's apply the values. We have the opposite, that is 8, adjacent, 3. Our hypotenuse is the square root of 73. Since the given is negative, it is in the fourth quadrant. So sine 2 theta is equivalent to 2. Then our sine that is negative because that is in the fourth quadrant. That's negative 8. 8 is our opposite here. And our hypotenuse, that is square root of 73. And multiplied by the cosine theta, which is adjacent over hypotenuse, that is 3. This is our adjacent. And our hypotenuse is square root of 73. And to simplify, we have negative 48 over 73. And this is our answer. This is the end of this video. If you find this video informative, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. God bless us all.